Hey, what's up YouTube? Here's 13 hidden features that you might not know exist on iOS 13. So starting off, one feature that I thought was super awesome, if you guys head into the Control Center connectivity platter, now you can haptic or 3D touch on the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth toggles right here to connect a new device or connect to a different Wi-Fi network. Also within the control center, you have the option to add a dark mode toggle right on the home page instead of having to go into the brightness slider. So a quick way to toggle on and off dark mode. Also, if you guys want dark mode to be toggled on automatically, well, you can do that. It says light until sunset, or you can set a custom schedule. So this was one of my favorites that you might have forgotten about. There's new gestures to copy, cut, paste, select text, undo, and redo. One last awesome thing right here is you can just tap on the cursor to move it now too. Next up, you can now tap on the scroll bar right here to scroll all the way down down to the bottom of the page super quickly. Also, when you're in a large website like this, if you go to take a screenshot, something like that, pop it open, you also have the option for a full page screenshot. So if I get that out of the way, as you guys can see, I've taken a screenshot of this entire website. Oh, and it looks like you can also save it to a PDF to files. That's kind of cool. So iOS 13 brings a couple new features for people that have AirPods. If you guys have two AirPods, like if say you and your significant other have one, you can actually connect them to the iPhone together and have the same music or audio come out of both of them. It's going to be awesome for traveling. Along with that, in the future with an iOS update, Update, you'll be able to actually just share audio by putting one phone next to the other. Very lastly, with AirPods, now when you receive a message, there's an option for Surrey to just announce the message. Again, this feature is coming, but I thought I would share it with you guys early. Comparing iOS 12 to iOS 13, Surrey has a brand new voice. So let's listen in real fast. First, this is iOS 12. Oregon crushed Montana by a score of 35 to 3 yesterday. So just a little bit more natural sounding. Also, with the latest update of iOS 13, pretty much every application opens up twice as fast. So that's pretty cool. Face ID also works faster as well. iOS 13 has an all new redesigned share sheet. It looks something like that. That's iOS 12 and that's iOS 13. Minor, but I really like the look of it. There's now a Safari download manager for large files. This was demoed on iPadOS, but this also works on iOS as well. With iOS 13, you now have the ability to rotate videos. So if it's captured the wrong way, you can flip it or you can rotate rotate it to the correct orientation, click done, and now when you guys rotate it, your video is playing in the correct orientation. This one I thought was an interesting one. Now you can download apps of any size over cellular data. Now this used to be capped at 200 MB, but if you go into the settings app, go into iTunes and App Store, go into your app downloads, and you can always allow any size application to be downloaded over cellular. And very lastly, I saved the best for last, but a lot of iPad OS specific features like using a mouse or using a game controller work on iOS. So very quickly demoing this, if I go into Bluetooth, I guess my mouse already connected, but I can go home. Um, and the really cool thing is you can actually, you can swipe um, and click with the primary button but your secondary button right here, this can be used to go home. Your middle button can be used to toggle Surrey. Your side button can be the app switcher or a control center right there. And then again, just home and home. So awesome that you can use pretty much your entire mouse. You can set gestures to pretty much every button on your mouse. And again, this mouse is the MX Master S2. There's a third edition that just came out. Now, very lastly, if I go ahead and launch up Fortnite, rotate this guy real fast for you. Anyway, I think it's just hilarious. You can play the game pretty much with a mouse or at least get it started. I guess it's down here. But if I go ahead and pick up the controller, as you guys can see, it's already working. Well, I guess this was a horrible example. The game controller does connect, but as you guys can see, with certain games like Fortnite, apparently the input is blocked. And I can easily see why that would give such an unfair advantage for 
mobile players. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much all I have for you in this video. Certainly with some games on iOS, game controllers do work. Mouse support, however, is fully functional on iOS. And I thought the gestures were just awesome that you can have multiple buttons do different things, access the control center, go home, enter multitasking, all of that stuff. Anyway, guys, I really hope you appreciated this video. If you guys did, definitely give it a huge thumbs up if you're excited for these new features in iOS 13. Thanks so much for stopping by. But until next time, this is Tony signing out.